so the last time your friends told you to make the gift cards for your friend, they ended up looking like crap, and they pretty much just said, you suck at Photoshop. You know what? You can tell them they suck at Photoshop. You're awesome at Pixlr. Today I'm going to show you a step up on what you can do to improve your skills um, as an image editor. Now, I have an image of a very sad dog. It's a pug. And I f guess I got this image through one of my feeds in Google Reader, and I thought the image was really great, really nice, and so I saved it, and I'm using it as a demo here. So if you own the image, let me know. I will give you credit for it. So thank you for whoever got this picture of a dog. Really nice. Okay. So today I'm going to show you how to use the mask tool. Now, it's not like a mask, like it's in Dark Knight or something. Um, actually it sort of is by the way now that I think about it so when we start here always unlock this layer and we're gonna actually duplicate this so I'm gonna right click this layer duplicate it and I'm gonna call the bottom one original and whenever you're working with multiple layers it's always good to label them I'll call the top one copy so I can differentiate between which one's the original and which one's the copy and honestly it doesn't matter at that point um, I'm going to jump to this tool here on the left hand side called the lasso tool. Now there's a couple of options you have here. You can either use the freehand lasso tool or you can use the polygon lasso tool. For now I'm going to show you how to use the freehand lasso tool. And I'm going to set the feathering to zero and I'll kind of tell you what that is. So I'm going to just actually let's do a couple of things. I'm going to zoom out. and I'm going to do my best in trying to so Okay, let's do this again. So to start, essentially, find an area where you want to start. Left-click your mouse with the tool, and, and and begin sort of hovering and copying over the area you want to sort of isolate. And you're like, why am I doing this? Well, in this particular tutorial, what you want to do is isolate the main character of your story and sort of change the background. Make the background seem and feel very different. So now I've isolated a dog. As you can see, these lines are sort of fuzzy and weird looking. Now I'm going to jump here and make sure you did this in the copy layer. And if I right click, I can do add layer mask. And you're like, whoa, it, it didn't do anything. It was, you pretty much did something very useless. That's not true. What you're seeing here is two things. You're seeing the background. So if I hide it by clicking this, you'll see that this is the only layer you see up here, the top one, and the bottom one is missing. Basically what I did was I cut this section here off with this tool. Just like that. Really simple using the lasso tool. It's not great. As you can see here, look at how fuzzy it is. It's, it's really, really bad. So I'm going to bring back the original layer. Now I'm not going to modify this top layer anymore. What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump to the original layer, which has the background image. I'm going to go in a filter, and I'm going to try old photo. And you'll notice this change in the background here. Not too great, right? Let's try something else. Vinay, what does that do? Half tone. Let's just try diffuse. Okay. So you can sort of see some of the problems I'm facing, right, in this tool. Now, check out this diffuse tool. It sort of pixelates the background and makes it look really diffuse, so to speak, and it isolates the image that we're concerned about, which looks really interesting. Let's try the pixelate tool and you'll see how everything around the dog sort of gets pixelated, right? Right, right, sort of nice, sort of interesting. Kind of get the idea there. Again, doesn't look too flush. You see here there's some sort of weird gaps here, which is obvious. And you're wondering, well, you didn't really do anything. Now I'm going to show you what I really did. So I'm going to click on the top copy layer, and I'm going to move this dog here. You see that? 
there's the poor original dog that was in the original image. Sad to say. I'm going to bring him back. And then he's covering him. So, so you can kind of see how this tool works and how you can sort of change and manipulate the background. All right. So I'm going to jump back to the very beginning with the duplicate layer. Again, this is a really great feature in Pixlr is the history tool. Use it to your advantage. I'm going to click on this lasso tool. I'm going to change the feather to, let's say, 20 maybe? Now what the feather does is it does a better job in fluffing out some of the gaps that you create here. So again, you got to really take your time and really make this lasso tool. Make sure you go down here all the way to the bottom and reconnect. That's a very important, that reconnect portion. I'm going to click this. You can also click this bottom, this button here called Add Layer Mask, right? So I can hide that. There you go. Do you see how there's sort of this fuzz now around the dog? See that? That's what the feather does. So I'm going to bring back the background image. I'm going to click on the original. I'm going to do some sort of filtering. Um, let's try some other things. Let's, what do we got here? So, so you can kind of see here a little bit better now, right? So you can kind of see this dog here, and I used the old photo uh, tool and it looks like there's a dog sort of stuck and trapped in the past um, and it, it kind of looks interesting right not too bad not too shabby so let's see something else um, art poster what does that do kind of looks weird Okay, so I'm just going to do one other thing here. Um, I'm gonna mess around with the hue and saturation of the background. And just sort of give the dog a sort of a old time kind of look. Like it's the only thing in color in the image. So there you go, folks. I hope you learned something new. Um, this whole add mass layer tool it really is great if you want to sort of isolate an image isolate a particular character and then change up the background so i hope you guys can find some really awesome things to do with this tool enjoy